As we kind of start out, Sherry, would you mind defining macroaggressions for us? Sure. So macroaggressions are systemic and institutionalized forms of bias and oppression that impact the lives of entire groups of people. I think um, one of the things that, is, that people often struggle with is it's very easy to look at um, racism and discrimination and sexism and heterosexism on an individual level. Mm -hmm. And part of what that does is it creates a fallacy that we're not responsible for these larger systemic problems that impact students as well. And so it sort of makes it, I think, the fallacy of thinking is a more easily manageable problem if we're just focusing on the individual level. Yeah, now that's a great insight um, and something that we should be taking to heart. Um, especially because we often do get caught up on that individual level of interaction and right. those expressions of bias without kind of realizing that those were normed by the communities and the society that we're embedded in. Yeah. And every day we're receiving messages from all these different spheres, from the political sphere, from the social sphere, and from those institutional uh, policies and procedures and programs um, that kind of impact how students understand their place in that institution and in the world around them. I think the other thing that's really important for people to understand is that people can pretend that these systemic or even policy issues don't affect us at the individual level, and that's not true. We also think that students aren't aware of that. So sometimes, in some ways, it's, it's more insidious impact on their negative well-being because people see things like policies around immigration or deportation mm -hmm or policies around housing, or policies around health care, or mental health care, and think that if it's not individually impacting that person at a particular moment in time, then it's not really relevant to their well-being, and that's not true. People can also um, have lots of, of negative things that happen to them vicariously by watching what happens to other people as well. Exactly.